concussions are, are beginning to be much more of a problem. With a lot of the science that's coming around concussions, like the long-term effects that NFL players are starting to show, it's becoming much more of an issue. So early detection is one of the most important things in the concussion realm. And being able to identify concussions is really powerful with just the phone that you already own, either on the sideline or in the clinic in recovery to see when they're ready to return to play. Concussion is a brain injury. It's actually a traumatic brain injury. We often think about that as the head-to-head -head or head-to-ground contact, but it also can be a whiplash. It could be a rotational injury, something that causes the brain to move suddenly. Concussion was a major medical concern in 1905-1910 related to boxing. More recently, we've become focused on concussions as uh, we're beginning to recognize more of the risks associated with professional sports. Your brain is different. It's jelly in a big casing of, of a liquid, so it can shake. And the shaking is what causes concussions more than anything else. It bangs around in there, and it just causes all kinds of injury that can be seen from symptomology. Difficulty with the brain is that Although it is a made out of neurons, it has no pain receptors. So although the brain will swell and there'll be vascular problems, you don't feel pain. So then the risk is you're going to go back to play and cause an injury simply because you don't know you're at risk. My name is Chase Curtis. I live in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I run a company called Sway Medical. Sway monitors postural sway, which is the amount that you move while you're balancing, which is crucial to lots of different conditions, but concussion being one of them, fall risk screening in seniors is a huge one, and then probably most importantly is just objectively measuring functional status. So the first kind of conceptualization of, of sway was probably 2009 and it was taking this equipment that we had used for force platforms and reaction time and arm hand steadiness, and my thought was, well, why couldn't we just use a mobile device that had a lot of the sensors that you would need to make the same kind of measurements? One of the reasons we like to test balance after concussion is it takes the whole brain to make it work. So if there's a problem somewhere in the brain, frequently balance will be impaired. That's potentially a concussion. Right now, the best case for diagnosing a concussion on the sideline is for me to have the athlete stand in front of me and put them through a balance protocol while I watch them and judge their stability. But instead of actually measuring that and quantifying it, comparing it to a baseline, I'm judging to see do I think they're stable. Using our app, somebody would take the balance test. It has instructions on there, they hit go. They would basically hold it up on their chest. There's a series of five tests in our standard protocol, and when th that's over, you can actually see from a score of zero to 100, that's in sway terms, what your balance score was. And so from there, you should take at least three tests to establish a firm baseline. Your baseline score is your typical average of where you're gonna um, reside as far as when you take a balance test normally. So in a normal environment, under normal mental capacities, that's the score that you will receive. If you're uh, hit in a football game and you come to the sidelines, your score would take probably a pretty, pretty big dive from that, and that's where we can determine if there is some kind of impairment. Concussion is a functional disturbance. It's not a structural disturbance, so you can't see it in a medical image. You have to interview the person and look at how they function. So that's a, a big piece of where sway can be put into that equation to give a real objective measure of stability that's based on science and a regulatorily cleared product versus uh, you know, just the athletic trainer making their best guess at, at how stable they are. 
So the initial concept of how we might use this platform to test for concussion was to use the sensors that are already in the device to do what's really needed, which is balance. That was the big thing that wasn't done in the market in an effective and portable way. So after some assessment by Wichita State University to, to verify that uh, the device sensitivities were approximately the same at all devices, we're able to get the accelerometer values. We get X, Y, Z uh, changes in acceleration. The accelerometer is a pretty typical thing. For the average user, it's really to detect if the device is landscape or portrait. It kind of just senses those motions. Three, two, one, go. With a product like ours, you're actually measuring inertial movements using the device that you already own, but you're placing it against your chest and you're able to measure that postural stability. That we can utilize that and turn it into a medical device, that's incredibly powerful. Because balance involves your ability to see and feel movement and feel your position in space, we're going to change the visual input. We have a video screen inside of those goggles that will while he's balancing, change what he sees. So his body is telling him one thing, his eyes are telling him something else. And it's hard, isn't it? It's hard. Okay, go ahead and stop. That's a little bit what a concussion feels like. I hit him really hard, and I didn't know I had a concussion at first, but the next few days, I started developing headaches and I just rested, had to sit in a dark room, uh, wasn't able to do homework, and I couldn't even watch TV. After the hit, I felt dizzy, and colors, and or bright lights, and movement hurt my head, and I just wanted to sleep all the time. I have adolescent athletes whose brains are still developing, and I want to make sure that they continue to do that, and so managing their concussions properly is a very high priority for me. A lot of the tools that I use in managing concussions is very subjective. I, it is all from what the athlete tells me that they feel. Sway Balance has been able to help me with that by giving me a real number. Having a number uh, creates power. I saw some real opportunity, not just only from concussion, but from a rehab standpoint. As the players progress back from rehab, you want that balance to return. Um, and you can say to the player, you're not to where I want you yet, based on the sway balance test. And they can understand that because they did the test and they saw their number. Sway's vision is to innovate, to change the medical realm through software and through mobile devices. Mobile technology is about better data. I also think it's about how we handle the data so it becomes information and later becomes knowledge and even wisdom. One of the goals is to take all these big, large pieces of equipment and make it into a cost-effective mobile device that is a medical device. I see mobile technology taking over. It's less expensive, it's less cumbersome, it's right at your hands. It'll be nice to travel with an EKG machine or with an ultrasound machine that's attached to your phone. Mobile technology is going to really start speeding up the system because people are going to know more about their actual health. Those patients that are living three hours away from their physician don't have to come in as often and have what might come to be a doctor in the pocket. We want to change a healthcare system towards outcomes and performance so that healthcare professionals can use a tool like ours or, or the platforms that we build out to show that they're actually being effective in the treatment of a patient. I think the next 10 to 15 years, we're going to see a completely and radically different healthcare system than we know today.